Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about Martin and how we can use this tool in your ASLogin Core projects. So, what is Martin DB? Martin DB is not actually a new database. It works with PostgreSQL engine and converts a PostgreSQL to a document database. So, basically, it's a library and you can install on any ASP.NET Core project using NuGet package manager and then it works uh, like entity framework uh, it, is, it stays between your ASP.NET Core project and your database and it stores data into database and queries it and you can do CRUD operations and many more So the magic of Martin lies in document database part because when you are working with Martin it seems like you are working with LightDB or MongoDB you don't have to specify the scheme of your tables you just uh, introduce Martin uh, with a C sharp object CLR object and it stores it finds it again and you can delete it update it and everything happens automatically by martin so you don't have to think about how uh, it is converting your c sharp object into json storing it into database and recovering later that's all taken care of by martin and the way it works is uh, actually very simple if you check out the database you can see that uh, it uh, converts your uh, seashore object into json object and it stores them into a json b type column inside a posture uh, database and it stores the date and time and uh, some metadata are here in here and uh, then uh, you don't uh, need to uh, specify different columns for different fields in your objects so I have my demo project here it is an ace.net core project version 5 and I have already installed Martin library it is version 3 and now if I go to my startup I need to inject Martin services and there are quite a few options that you can choose from uh, I am just uh, connecting to a connection string called Martin uh, which is existing in appsettings.json in here and this is a connection string to my PostgreSQL and that's it and that's all you need to start working with Martin and after injecting the uh, Martin to your project, you can work with it just like DB context of entity framework. Let's go to my create page. In here, I am injecting a document store, which is very similar to Hibernate sessions or DB context in entity framework. And here I am starting a new session and storing my model which is here being binded from this form and saving changes and redirecting to index page on my index page I also need a document store I inject it like this and I create a session and query data and return it to the user using this movie list collection uh, so that's basically what you need to get started let's run the project so we have a project running let's refresh this page uh, I have this data on my database right now I can edit them uh, like this save them and um, 
work with them I can also create a new item and save it or delete data everything is working but uh, at the same time we are using postures and let's run this query again and uh, let's go to here and show all the rows okay mm, this is what we have in our database right now and exactly what i am seeing in this page so how martin works here you store an object and it finds the type of that object in your project and converts it to a JSON and saves it into uh, Posture SQL and um, luckily Posture has good functionality for working with JSON data and uh, that is what is happening in here and that's actually the reason why Martin chose uh, Posture SQL instead of something like um, SQL Server and uh, other than your actual data there are some metadata that is useful for some other functionalities of Martin and that's uh, actually all you need to care about when you are working with Martin so I can delete data uh, I need to find the object that I'm going to delete and uh, save it like this delete it using delete method and save the changes and just like the way you work with entity framework and I can edit data to I need to inject document store and start a new session update my object and save changes and uh, that's uh, all your CRUD operations in one demo project this demo project exists on my github and you need to check the dev martin uh, branch to see the same code so the good thing about document databases is that you no longer need to uh, migrate your database every time you change something in your models so let's add a new property in here and let's ask user for the director's name and let's also create a new branch the director and and that is it I don't need to create a migration update my database and so on I can just come here add a new input like this and on the director and I can come here in my index page and add a new column like this let's add the same thing here and actually that's it you don't need to change this part of your code or uh, anything in here because uh, the movie is the movie it's the, the object and I can run my project and hopefully everything would work just fine let's go to our movies and for older movies we don't have the director's name and let's add another one save as you can see i have the director in here and uh, i can go ahead and add the same field to my edit page so i could be able to edit my director in here too but you get the idea and uh, it's not very different or very hard to implement and that's it it martin does every magic you need to happen 
to make it work and uh, it makes working with your database very easily at the same time you're not using a NoSQL database like MongoDB you don't have uh, to change everything about your database to uh, start using uh, Martin the only the only part that I don't like about Martin is you can just use PostgreSQL not something like SQL Server and uh, it's uh, it makes things a little bit uh, hard uh, for most of us because uh, we enjoy working with uh, uh, SQL Server but the good thing about PostgreSQL uh, along with its support for JSON is uh, its performance so if you take a look at um, taking power benchmarks and filter the result only for ASP.NET Core you can see that the highest uh, performance belongs to PostgreSQL and actually you don't see uh, SQL Server or MongoDB in here all these databases are either PostgreSQL or MySQL and for the top five uh, and there's only PostgreSQL so if you need high performance to work with your database the best choice is using PostgreSQL and uh, you don't have to migrate all your data to PostgreSQL just the part you need to be dynamic and uh, document based uh, that part can work easily in uh, Martin so a while back I read this article from the Guardian's technical team explaining why they have moved from MongoDB to Postgres and there are many reasons very technical reasons for that but the result is it is possible and it seems like a good idea and so if you are already tired from working with MongoDB and you want to check another way uh, to work with document databases Martin can be a good choice because Martin now has more than uh, 100 contributors and uh, it has lots of stars um, sponsored by .NET Foundation and in more than four years in development uh, it has version 3 right now more than 1 million downloads so everything is, seems okay with Martin if you want to use it in any uh, serious project you can go ahead and do it as many people already have done it before and uh, it seems like uh, uh, a good replacement for MongoDB or any NoSQL database. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like this video, please share it with your friends, subscribe, and uh, I hope to be back soon.